Hi everyone, Holly here, the Frugal Savvy Crafter, and this is going to be the first of my Anna Griffin. Is this up right? Okay, Anna Griffin uh, series. Um, before I start, if you are under the age of 18, this channel is for adults only, so turn off this channel if you're under 18. And that being said, I'm going to start out showing you the fanciful, fanciful layers cut and embossed folders. I love cut and embossed folders. This is the fanciful layers, if you can see it, by Anna Griffin. And these are some of the projects. This is a project sheet you get with it. And then it shows you and gives you directions, shows you the folders you get. And I just wanted to show you. These are, I mean, they're identical to what the picture shows. I mean, very identical. But they're a good size. That's by hand. And this is the piece that cuts out. And it's approximately three and a half to four inches on there. But this is a good size. Beautiful cut and emboss folder. Get some beautiful raised designs. Makes for great backgrounds. And the next one is this kind of, uh, I want to say rectangle shape. This is the brocade bow. Oh, they actually have names on them. Hold on, I'll turn this one over. This is... The Blossoming Wreath. Bocade Bow. And this is how this looks. And I mean, it's very, very, uh, I want to say elegant and ornate looking. I did these in a rose gold foil cardstock. So there's two. And then the third one is there's the set. And these come as a set. You buy them three. I mean, you can buy them singly. This is ruffled ribbon. You can buy them single, but you could also get them as a set. And I believe the set altogether was $19.99, which was an excellent deal. But it's really pretty. And these make some nice background pieces when you layer them for doing cards. I really have moved away from just junk journaling into wanting to do more elegant, like, cards and such. Okay, the next set I got is the Cut and Emboss Garden Border Folders. And... This is what you want to look for if you're interested in getting these in Santa Griffin. And these are the borders, the different borders here. Really pretty. And there's many ways you can use these. And you can trim them or whatever and use them. This is the double scroll border here. And this is what it looks like. They're also done in the rose gold. And this next one is Garden Balcony Border. And this is how beautiful. I love this one. I mean, you can, you can cut it right down the middle and then layer it, like, in sections. Very, very pretty. Or it can make a beautiful belly band in a journal or a book. I mean, there are all kinds of uses for it. And this one is City Park Border. This one here. And that's how that one looks. Kind of reminds me of ribbon. Really like it. 
But those are the three. And they also come in a set. And I believe I paid $19.99 for the set. Which was an excellent deal. And you get all three. And they're very beautiful. Very ornate. And easy to use. You run it through like a regular embossing folder. The die itself is built into the embossing folder and I love the fact that it cuts through poster board it cuts through uh, thicker uh, foil cardstock um, I got some Cricut foil cardstock which is normally for the Cricut but that's what this is and it's it's good and thick and strong so, I mean, it could, you could do so much with it. You could also cut through vinyl with her dies, which I love. Um, flocking material, foam. There's all kinds of stuff, materials. Uh, thin balsa wood, thin, very thin metal. Her dies will cut through all of that, which is incredible. Her dies, uh, I like her dies because... I don't compared to some of the thin lit dies I got, these are much deeper. I don't know if you can see it if I can get it to focus. These dies are much deeper to cut with. And actually you can cut two or three sheets at one time with these, by the way. Even her regular dies, which is to me kind of awesome. So I wanted to keep these all together so you could see. But that's the new cut and emboss folders that she has out. Um, July 14th, she's going to be on HSM with some new stuff. So I can't wait to see that. And of course, you know I'm going to be buying it. Duh. <laughs> right? Uh, and uh, then I'll be back later. Showing you some more of the dies and the cuts and how they look when they're cut out. Um, I think it's good to be able to show you how they look when they're, they're, they're cut out. To see if that's kind of the desired effect you want to get with your pieces. And then later on in this series, I'm going to show you... We're going to go through actually making cards with a lot of her die cuts and embossing folder pieces and stuff we're going to actually go through and make some very nice cards we'll do a few get well a few thank you a few just a note or to a friend and a few birthday so that's the series and then when i get done doing the all the anna griffin series then i'm going to be doing a whole series on Debbie Moore's items that I have. Um, going through my craft stash, I thought this would be a good idea to show people what's out there and help them get familiar with some of the products that you may not normally see. I mean, most people don't look for cut and emboss folders. And I think I have all of the cut and emboss folders that Crafters Companion has. It's a sad day when you can go to the Crafters Companion site and not find anything new that you want. Then you know it's time to move on to something else. So now it's Anna Griffin. And then I'll be showing you um, some of the other products that she sells. Like the Finishing School Craft Box. Wildfire Guard. And I mean, these are awesome. They come with dies. They come with embossing folders. And card making. And beautiful box to keep it in. You know, I I love her stuff. Uh, so, that's all for now. Y'all take care. Love you guys. Peace.